Welcome everybody, it's Wild West Stacker. I hope you're having a great day. And you know what? I'm gonna change up usually my intro, we show off some silver, kind of entice you. I'm gonna change it up today. I wanna have a little more of a serious talk just with everybody. Uh, as some of you know, I missed the premiere train last week. Yes, I uh, kind of had a little emergency. Luckily, everything was good with my family. Just needed to spend some time with my boys. Uh, last week, at one of my boys' schools, in the middle, in the morning at 7 a.m. at the crosswalk, somebody was not paying attention and unfortunately ran over one of the boys at the school. He was 13, and unfortunately, he did not make it. He passed away. So, you know, person for that little guy. His name was Mac. Sad story. Kind of makes you realize, you know, the precious things in life. Silver, yeah, it's cool and all, but spending time with your family, that's more important. So I'm just asking everybody out there, if you have a vehicle, or even if you drop off your kids at the school, just, you know, kind of watch them a little closer. Uh, we think that having this just happen, our city would be a little more onto it. But the following Monday, two more kids were hit. Different school, different spot, but, you know, I mean, they were hit in the crosswalk. So, I don't know. It's It just kind of boggles my mind what's going on right now. So, just had to get that off my chest. Appreciate everybody listening. And, you know, if you drive a vehicle, just kind of be a little more cautious. If you're running behind, just it's okay to be a little late. You know, the world will go on. It's okay. You don't need to speed everywhere, and trust me, I'm an enthusiast of cars. I mean, we build these Lego cars with my boys all the time, and I just thought I'd let everybody know, just kind of keep an extra eye out for the kids. Um, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, let's get on to looking at some silver and what my weekly pickups are. All right, let's start off with one of these cool, I believe this is a 2020, this is the HMS Bounty Coin out of the Cook Islands. There we go. And the one ounce is pretty cool until you see the two ounce. The two ounce just has a lot more detail, especially in the field back there. Uh, really hard to see it though, where it says two ounce. Jeez, that's hard. Chunky little coin, pretty cool. And then of course my big kilo monster. And this thing is like a mirror. Just huge. So that's 32, what, 0.15 ounces to 2020. And interesting, I've been trying to see if they made a 2021 of these, and I do not believe they have. Uh, I think they stopped making these big kilo coins because they're struggling to keep up with just making regular bars. Pretty crazy. All right, look at this little guy. So I think this is their quarter ounce. Let's try to zoom in here, see if we can take a look. Oh, it's a yeah, 25 cents. There it is, one quarter ounce, four nines fine silver. Okay, so I didn't want to get a tube of these because man, they're expensive. You can just get several ounces instead of these little fractional guys. And then let's take a look at this dude. That's the really small one. One tenth of a troy ounce. It is four nines fine. It's a coin. What was the denomination? Ten cents. So ten cents, twenty-five cents, a dollar, and two dollars. And then the big one's thirty dollars. So all over the place on pricing. Crazy. All right. Let's just leave that guy out. I'll just take these little guys off. I did have what, one, two, three of the one ounces and three of the two ounces. And I finally got my order in from Bold. You know, good old Bold Precious Metals. They do take about a month, but they do deliver. All right. Let me get in here. I thought I ordered three of these. One, two, three. Okay. So I did get one Silver Eagle in there. That's oh, one of the new ones. Don't have too many of them, but I figure I might as well get a few here and there. 
Okay, so these are the one ounce. I have not seen any two ounces because these are the 2022. Did I, skip get, I guess I skipped getting any 2021s. All right, well, we skipped a year. They look identical. I don't see anything different. Just the date. Okay, well, fun coins. I have to get capsules for these guys. One, two, three. Looks like I'm going just with three for every year, except for I skipped the 2021s. Let's see here. These are 2020, 2020. Okay, so I don't have any of the 2021s. Interesting. Okay, I did check the fractionals, and these are 2021s. So they look like they did make coins. You can see right there, 2021. They did make these Cook Islands. Looks like I missed getting the one ounce and the two ounce versions, if they made the two ounce. So I'm going to have to add those to my stack. All right, and the next part should be fun. This is my cool little bag here, and it holds all my Egyptian silver. Most of these are, actually all these are antiqued. And so it's really fun, just you can touch them. Okay. Monarch Precious Metals, Egyptian Relic Series. And I think that one comes with this guy. And right there, this is the three tray ounce up there at the top. Pretty sweet, already antiqued. And this one should be the second largest one, the two ouncer. Yeah, there we go. And should say it on the side. There we go. Two Troy ounces, three nines fine silver. Good thing it's written in English, not Egyptian, because we would have no idea. So there's the three, the two. Okay, here's the one ouncer. There it is, one troy ounce, three nines fine silver. You can see Anubis right here. And he's holding the scales, which are probably the scales of Mat, M-A-A-T, I believe it was. And these were 42 rules that they live by, like don't steal, don't kill. It's pretty simple stuff. And looks like he's embalming somebody on the other side in the afterlife. Pretty crazy. Uh, it's a little smaller piece. Like, look, this is the two ouncer. There's the one. If anything, that two ounce almost looks bigger than the three. All right, and next up is the half ounces, the gatos. Got the cat on there. So half troy ounce, and on the other side, how do they flip? Okay, so they flip like a. How does it flip? Like a European coin. There we go. Hmm. Huh. I'm confused. Looks like they could just stamp them anyway, because, look, they've got different... <laughs> one goes right side, one doesn't. Interesting. Okay, so, I don't know which way they flip. You can get a different kind every time. But now, I guess we'll go in order. This was the one I was missing. Uh, Atmex had these in stock. I decided to pick up just enough to get a tray ounce. These are rather pricey. I think when I got these, it... It's like right around 36 to 38 dollars for just one tray ounce so unless you're completing a set it's not really the most economical thing to do okay these ones look a little shinier than the rest they still are antiqued nice little fractional silver got a pyramid on one side and it's one of the emperors on the other the well, maybe sarcophagus, maybe? I don't know. Kind of cool. I think one of these had some color on it. Let's see here. Is it this guy? Yeah, look at that one. That one's got a little toning. Let's see, it just says three nines FS, fine silver. One quarter ounce Troy. King Tut or something on the other side there. So four of these little guys. One... Two, three, four makes an ounce. All right, and last up, I've already had these. And I got ten of these little one tenth troy ounces. This will complete the set. Really fun little fractional silver. They're antiqued, so you got looks like a pharaoh right there. 
three nines, fine silver, We've got the snake, sort of hieroglyphs on there. Pretty cool. It's a 10 and 8. So that is now the whole set. Uh, the three ouncer. The two ouncer obviously are the biggest. That two ouncer though really I think it's the winner. Looks big. It's not quite as thick, but I like the design on there. This like with the wings. It's pretty cool. Awesome. All right. Well, that's all I've really got for silver. Um, when I was going through the safe, I thought I'd pull this out. And I have looked under the microscope, and this has been cleaned. I can see some cleaning marks, so why not touch it? It's my coin. I'll do what I want. Since we're doing 2022, I thought I'd show off this 1822. And this is King George. One of the craziest things about this coin is it does have edge writing. Let's see if I can show it off there. And I think it's all in, I don't even know what, Latin or something? Decus et tutumen. I know. Yeah. Can't even read that part. It's got a little Tony on it, on the edge though. So, just thought I'd show off that cool 1822 coin. I don't mind touching it. It's... It's a little rare, but hey, it's just a piece of silver. Fun stuff. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for checking out all my cool silver pickups. You know, these Egyptian silvers are way fun. But, I mean, come on. The Kilo coin, something about holding over 30 ounces in your hand just in one coin. Not a bar, but a coin. It's pretty cool. And, you know, when I got this, it was about $30 spot. It's, $30 an ounce is what I paid. Sorry, spot was not that. Spot was around $25. So, chunker, fun, and way cooler than a little baby one tenth ounce. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping on the premiere train today. Make sure you click the link in chat. And you can move on to the next video with all my friends. All right, everybody. This is Wild West. Everybody have a good one.